Hello and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop Cardboard Coat Check. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your Cardboard Concierge, working with you to make your game nights better. Alright, what I'm doing tonight is I am going to check out a new product from the company Escape World. It's a company we've done reviews on before, but all we reviewed are their, uh, what they call escape boxes. They're, they're puzzle boxes, wooden puzzle boxes. Well, this takes it to the next step. What I have here is the Orbital Box Times 2. And you will note it's a very thin pack here because of the fact what this is is two games in one. It is a 3D puzzle you build, and then the end result is a 3D puzzle box for you to solve. I am fascinated by this, and I am extremely curious how building it doesn't spoil it, how the first part doesn't spoil the second. So I am really looking forward to cracking this open. But right now, what we're doing tonight, we're not building this. Uh, that might be another future live stream and video. Uh, we're just going to crack this open to take a look at what you get in the box, check out the instructions, and see just what it is. Plus, I'm extremely curious to know if the times two is just alluding to the fact it's two games in one, that it's a puzzle to assemble and then one to solve, or if there's two copies, like I'm going to get to build two boxes. And if that's the case, that's cool, because I can give a copy to a friend. Now, this does come from Escape Well, who I have to thank for sending a review copy of this, as well as some of their other puzzles. Big thanks to them for that, because I probably wouldn't have even heard of them without that. So, let's take a look at what we get inside the box. So, here is the box for um, the Orbital Box Times 2. I'm just going to crack the shrink on this first. The, the shrink has been cracked. You can kind of see there's actually a cut thing to kind of show the wood there. Which, if the, all that breaks apart, it's going to be ridiculous. I'm just going to flip through the edges quickly and the back now note these are translated to english and sometimes the english isn't the best but i've never had a problem actually like using them i've always been able to figure it out so what we have here is it's going to open up this way and we have cut boards this is board 22 or 14 so like, check that out you can see the detail on these boards two-sided i don't want to try to punch any of these out but man there are some little pieces there Little tiny pieces. I think you're probably going to want some type of hoppy knife to cut these out. Look at all the holes and slats. Holy cow. 41, 42, 43. There's an escapewelt.com thing here. Maybe this is a tool to use. Oh, it's interesting. You can tell which side's going to be facing out because the other sides are all blank. So you want to talk about the engineering that goes into these. Just look at the complexity here. Like the, the cutouts, the, the twists, turns. Oh, I love this. Check out the artwork here of the planet with the spaceships around it. More. Look at these little tiny notchy pieces. Wow. Okay, so far, I am not seeing any duplication. Looks like we might have the bottom of the box. Okay, yeah, this definitely builds one box. So the times two must be indicating the 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 you build it twice. So I, I'm going to call them out on a bad thing. That's okay. Very smart, though concerning. These are spare copies of the smallest, fragile, most fragile pieces. Again, awesome they did it, but makes me worry about breaking things while I'm building it. Um, one thing I will point out, this is not thin. Like, this is nice, thick. Thick birch wood. Um, so we get a player's passport. They include these in all their bigger products. I've seen these before. It's kind of cute. There's this, because the pyramid, it was the first thing they ever produced. They have this and it kind of talks about the game, where it comes from and what orders they put out. And it's basically a big ad thing, but there's also like trying to build a habit, how to do it. Like it's weird and there's puzzles in here. And you get a gift card, which I don't want to show off that QR code. So it's pretty cool. I appreciate this. Then we get the actual instructions. And here's where I'm going to call them out. Okay. Why? Why? I have no idea. There's a pulley in here. The game or... or Wow. Okay. Little wheel. <laughs> Possibly a sticker. All right. I, I'm not impressed by this. There's no reason this box could have been thinner. By doing this, you're just making people think there's more in there than there is. Um, and especially when it said times two, and I thought there could be two copies. You could have fit two copies in here. I, I get it. It's for marketing. The thicker box is going to sell more people, but I would have preferred just a thin box. Oh, good call. Um, there's a good, yeah. Okay. So thank you chat room here on Twitch. This is actually a small piece of sandpaper. 
for sanding the pieces. Though I'm not sure what this is. It looks like a pulley, but could be for something else. So here you have it. Everything you get in the orbital box. But what I want to do is flip through this just because I have a feeling this could be quite impressive looking. So double adventure all in one game. There's an intro. Whoo, small text. Look at that. I don't even think I can get that to focus. I'm going to need a magnifying glass when I'm doing this. Yes, okay. So the actual steps are language independent, which is what I expect. So it's showing you how to build the box at the start and how to get going. Showing you this. I like this. They use orange to show what pieces you need off of which boards. Um, I don't know if it's showing what to glue and not to glue potentially. So like showing flip it 180. Look at the little tiny pieces. I'm just going to flip through this quickly. What I'm still fascinated by is I really want to know if putting this together is going to give you the solution to the box at the same time. Wow. Text. And this will be our end result. Is this like cool sci-fi jewelry box? And lots of stock photos. <laughs> what you can put in it. Various QR codes. So there you go. This is the 3D puzzle and escape room. They call them escape rooms. Escape boxes, I would say. Um, from Escape Welt. So there you have it, what you get inside the Orbital Box Times 2 from Escape Well. Uh, two games in one, you have a wooden 3D puzzle to build that'll build you a nice, cool sci-fi looking gift box. And while that gift box itself is an escape puzzle, it's an escape box, it's a, a puzzle box that well, you will be able to solve. What I couldn't tell from putting, reading this and looking through it and looking at the components is if building it's gonna spoil it. I really have no idea. I gotta say the engineering here is fascinating. Seeing the really ridiculous number of pieces that goes into one of these puzzles is really neat to see. So I, I, I am really looking forward to trying to build this. Now, the one thing I may, may, no, nope, may do is I may record a live stream of me trying to build this. So be sure to follow me at twitch.tv slash tabletop bellhop so you can get notified when that happens. I think I do want to do this on stream, um, though you might have to put the explicit tag up. I'm slightly concerned that there are extra pieces of the smallest, most delicate pieces uh, because that means that people break them. Like they wouldn't give you extras if they didn't know that was a problem. But they do give you extras, so hopefully it's okay. Um, what I didn't catch just flipping through is if this does require glue. Um, some of these do, some don't. Some of wooden things I built, wooden puzzles or box inserts require glue. Others do not. I am thinking I probably want to use glue for this, but we'll see. Um, does come with some extra little bits like sandpaper, which is a nice touch. I'm looking forward to checking this out. This is something very different than, boom, here's a puzzle. No, build it first, then you have a puzzle. So again, that's the Orbital Box times two from Escape Well. If you do happen to pick up a copy of this yourself or thinking about it, or buy anything else from Escape Well, be sure to use our code BELLHOP, one word, B-E-L-L-H-O-P, to save 10%. Thank you for joining me for this unboxing video. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop. Good day and game on.